Hello there and welcome back to another episode. Now with a heavy heart, I must announce that this will be the very last episode of our beloved Folktale series, so don't really know how to put it in words, but I am very, very grateful because with this series, with this game, this is how the channel was brought back to life and it's been an amazing journey. We met some really great people on this on this journey as well, so I am very happy. Now for this episode, the main goal is to, if I bring the UI back up, our well-being right now is 13 and the goal is to bring it to 17 to maximize the beaver facilities here for, for fun. Now obviously the update is in and the, my game has been updated as well, so you will, we will notice some new buildings but we're not gonna unlock them just yet, yet. we'll leave it to the uh, next series then we'll We'll be hopefully opening soon but for the time being we're trying to go with everything that was in the previous update and get it up to 17 so the second part to this episode is there were some uh, your suggestions in the comments that i'll go through as well and we'll try and implement them most likely in stockholm right so let's have a look at the view in hamster that i'm over here we have completed the power shaft so we'll hide the water real quick and let's uh, look at this again so it comes through from Beaverly Hills, crosses the Great Aqueduct over there and then runs into, into the carousel, which is operational now as well. Then the next plan is to build this massive statue, the monument over here, which is gonna help us with all a little bit. And the power lines are almost here. I think right now the only difficulty is metal blocks. But we'll get to this in a little bit. Now what you might have also noticed is we... Actually, maybe we should have looked at this first. Yeah. Um, right, so the rooftop terraces is, a, is an issue and roofs as well. Therefore, I have started putting roofs above roads, just like we did in, in Iron Teeth series to help with that a little bit. And there's a few places where I've already queued this in, so I'll let the beavers continue constructing all that. Now, moving on to Beaverly Hills. In here, we've got a few more campfires just to help with that. I think, yeah, we still need a little bit more. And what I'll also do is we'll put a few beaver statues elsewhere. Or what I mean is around the colony as well. And maybe a few shrubs. Now, Flame of Progress and that I think we will be able to maximize. Then the last few things we'll need is we have to start producing some books. And Temple actually is pretty much done already. So that's, uh, that's actually great. So we might not put a temple here we might do the different monument instead but we'll see we'll see how it goes with that last monument and the metal requirements we've got about 660 right now so that's enough for two but just in case in preparation i've already queued in or queued up this road or walkway in here which i agree i don't really like this here at all but it was one of the first things we built in this game so i'm gonna leave this in and that is gonna take us to this middle section here where we can harvest harvest it all. Okay, so that's uh, that's about it. Now with the trees, in the recent update, what's, uh, what's happening now is if they get flooded, they are gonna die. So that's gonna slow down our progress and that's not really, really great. So we might change things up in uh, in Stockholm and direct the water elsewhere. But we'll see. We, we definitely need a lot of logs for our next uh, developments here as well. And now in Stockholm, what I've done off camera, I've let the beavers construct as many walls in here as possible. But as you know, with the changes as well, those water wheels are not giving us the power that we wanted. Therefore, I already started putting in some slightly bigger windmills as well and they are producing quite a bit of power right so that's uh, the main updates that i've been doing in the in the main or well, the first what is it two two districts yep now with stockholm let's jump into the suggested updates or improvements the requests we've um, had in the comments what we should do in this colony so from hannah we had a request that she would love to see a walk of fame which we will probably do it here and it's gonna go up curve around we'll have some parks some shrubs some benches and that's gonna go if i bring this up it's gonna go around cross this little dam over here and take us to the uh, to the carousel not quite the floating amusement park but in some ways it is half surrounded by water so i guess it qualifies in, in a way right and uh yeah we'll, we'll we'll do that now from jeffrey we had a request to implement some more farmlands some greenery uh have the water or the river go through uh, this section here as well so i it did a little bit of thinking and what um, what i'd like to implement in here with uh, jeffrey's notes is we'll have a little channel that brings the water in then it's gonna curve through 
the plateau over here, hopefully making most of it fertile. So it's going to curve around and half of it, hopefully half, is going to drop off into, into this section. So we'll have a, like a little waterfall in here. Whilst the other half will, we get a better angle. The other half is going to continue curving around this hilltop. And then we'll have another waterfall just in this corner. So what I'd like to do is to fill up and turn this into a massive lake. So in some ways, I'm hoping that we'll be able to have this more like a little island uh, surrounded by water. But we'll see how it goes because there's quite a bit of construction we'll have to do here and probably have to move this wall one step back as well. Actually, yeah, let's do this straight away. Let's get rid of you. Okay, fantastic. Now, I think the beavers are still trying to construct a few things in here. And uh, yeah, I'd like to close this off as well. And then we'll have a bit more control over how much water we want to let through. And I, yeah, I'd really like to have this forest operational again. Okay, I think a few more windmills are in. And now that we check the power supply, it is about 6,800. So it should be should be enough for what we, what we need. And uh, I'm sure you're curious about also the water wheels. So some of them are producing, I think the max was between 70 to 80. But the top ones here where the water barely moves, there's either nothing or just 8 horsepower. So yeah, not a, not a lot of power. And hence we're putting in those windmills in here instead. So hopefully beavers get these constructed as well. I think we're just waiting for some paper now. A uh, little bit laggy, but let's have a look. Do we have any paper? No, we don't. So we'll most likely be transporting this over from Beaverly Hills. Ooh, another trout coming in. Okay, well that might be a great time to start planting. And I think we also need a, some sort of a fix for this area in here. We don't really want the water to reach these kinds of levels so let's have a look what can we do i think the most obvious one is we'll have to raise this side up probably by two so that way we can hopefully redirect this water off the map from here and then we'll have to do the same on same on this side somewhere as well maybe maybe up here so that way we can get this water flowing towards towards that way instead. Okay, so let's give this a try. Um, how come we are not building these? Oh, they're not really able to reach them. So I guess we'll have to check the, the reach again. Let's see how far can they get. Uh, this is all red, which is understandable. How about we go from the top and put in these pieces? Hopefully we'll be able to do that. And we might even have to bring... Let's see, maybe somewhere from here, because that seems to be like the shortest route, or this maybe as well. I guess we'll see. We'll give them another another route through through here, and let's see if that helps with our pathfinding just a little bit. Okay, I'll let the game run just a little bit. We'll try and construct a couple of those things, and as soon as as soon as these are done, then uh, we'll we'll jump back and we'll focus on Stockholm as well with all these updates in here that's gonna be quite a quite a big project but I'd like to have some power in first and a quick status update so we have already a few stairs in place and the beavers are starting to bring down quite a few a few logs for the levees as well and we've got a couple of things in here dynamites let's hope no one's gonna get it get stuck in there nope we were fine and we'll do the same just on this side so now it's nice and clear. The only thing I'd like the beavers to still do is try and get rid of as many trees as we can, please. So that way they're... Oh, I didn't mean to raise the priority on these ones. So hopefully we can ha get rid of those um, those birch trees over here, put in a few more levees and then have this canal complete. Because once it is complete on both sides, then we'll be able to open this up and allow some water to start pouring through as well. Right, the next thing we'd like to do in here is put over a bridge. I wanted to use two small ones, but then we wouldn't have access on, on this this side. But I'd still like to have maybe a walkway on, on here as well. So let's put, it, put a bridge that's uh, too wide. In this section, I don't think I mentioned, but this is essentially where... Actually, let's raise, raise the priority. Really struggling with, with words today. In this section, we'll have some farms as well. And same up here. So it's a different kind of like terraced farms is what I want to go, go with. And up top, this is all gonna go. I'm thinking to do with the upper level 
is to have a temple. Temple just up here. And then maybe a little park with some trees and uh, yeah, a little like a kind of like a lookout point in a way. Okay, so that district is doing fairly okay. We've also been putting in some new platforms in here and continuing the power shaft connection. Because overall, as this is our main power line, that's going to have to come through here, go down and then power somehow the carousel as well. So we'll have to figure out how exactly do we want to do this. But in the middle, I suppose, we could also use... Well, we'll have to get rid of those stairs first and hopefully... Um, maybe I should have checked that there's no one downstairs. But it seems no one got stranded, so that's all good. And we'll do something like, like this in here as well to give them another access point. And then essentially, well, later at, at a later stage, we'll put a couple of stairs down so then we can still carry on constructing those power wires. They do have access from this point in here, but um, I think to get to the furthest corners here, we'll probably want to have uh, have a couple more stairs coming down from the middle. Okay, so that's the Stockholm over there. Do have a few campfires in. We've started putting in some levees and cleaning up the, the trees from the sides. Actually, we can do a couple more in here. I think we have a problem. They can't really reach them right now, but that's okay. I've already thought about it and we've got a couple extra roads in place. These connections seem to be done in here, so we should not be leaking any more water in here. Unless we want to, of course, then we could always put a dam somewhere, somewhere in there to let it fill up a bit to raise the fertility of the, of the lands in here. And then if we go over to Amsterdam, we do have a few roof bits in here. I think they've mostly done the platforms, but they're now starting to put put in the roofs as well. And then last but not least, what I also noticed is we, I used to have platforms here, but I don't know why. It really would have ma uh, made more sense to put dams because then we could have kept a little bit of water in here and also have those trees growing as well. So that's a bit of a mistake on my part, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it what we've done so far. So I'm going to let them keep constructing this area up and also some of the other parts. And we'll be back as soon as we've uh, got a bit, bit more progress in. All right, the drought has now ended and we've got a bit of a bit of progress in already. We do have the canal that is pretty much finished. I am starting to think we'd like to deepen this one more level at least. So that way we can always keep a little bit of water in here during uh, during the droughts. So yeah, that's that's one of the things I'm thinking. Whilst the, we're thinking, the beavers are already putting in all those dynamites. And they're also starting to build this walkway so we could empty, empty all that scrap metal from there. And therefore put in this dam. That will hopefully help us fill up this whole massive, massive lake in here. Now, other than that... We do have all the walkways in, so that is fantastic. And also our little, little bridge in here. Let's have a look in Beaverly Hills as well. It seems the levees here are also done. And now, secondly, what I'm starting to do now is I am going to dynamite this whole way through. And that's to... Essentially to allow this to become more fertile as well. So I've got a triple floodgate in place here. So whenever we need extra bit of water, we'll just open the floodgates and um, and yeah, top it up a little bit. So that's going pretty well here as well. Okay, now in the rest, that's all the same. We do have this little dam in place now, so we should be able to keep some water stored. And actually, we should... Let's do another one here as well. Why not? We might as well. Might as well keep a little bit of water to help uh, help us keep this forest going. Now the roofs in the farming area here, these are now done, so that's fantastic. The over overall well-being has gone down a little bit, but that's probably because we will need to allow them a bit more time to to go and have some have some fun as well with the books. We just have to find a location now where it will be best suited. And I'm thinking since the power lines are here, we'll probably do it 
somewhere nearby maybe even drop it down here well i guess it depends how it is gonna be with the power lines but i guess the easiest i don't really want to get rid of the forest and i don't feel like it suits right next to the carousel here either uh, so yeah i'll think about that a little bit and then i'll jump back once we once we know where to put it other than that yeah things seem pretty pretty good so far so we'll let the beavers carry on with this and as soon as they've got the dynamites in place as well we'll jump right back and detonate it together all right a quick update as well we've managed to put in a couple of things so we are going to start build temple here and we'll also have a nice little forest around it then down here the food's are starting to kick off as well so that's that's pretty great in the middle here what i was thinking is to create uh, some sort of a park so we'll dynamite our way in and create a small little pond where beavers can uh, sit we've got a few benches as well and we'll have one access point which is here guarded by two little uh, little statues there now with the with the housing what i wanted to do is i've got a few dynamites in as well we have warehouses with food in front we'll have some trees around and then we have triple lodges in the back over there just behind here once we dynamite these actually let's do it straight away We are going to have roads under which we have water going in as well, just to keep this area a little more fertile, so that way we can plant some more trees and things here. And when it comes to the um, the carousel and a little curved sort of Hall of Fame walkway, I don't think we can do a nice little curve here, so we'll we'll do something something else. The reason for that is just the access. It's already in red. So unless we figure out, I mean, this is pretty much as straight as it can get. It just seems it's a little too too far away. So we'll have a look. I really hope, actually, let's test this out straight away. Are we able to reach that there? Yes, we are, it seems. Okay, so that's really good. That is fantastic. Um, yeah, so that's how we're going. It's taking me quite a long time to figure things out. But, but yeah, overall, I think we're starting to look pretty good in here what's the problem with you oh okay so this is almost demolished there which is great as well but yeah so that's um that's the development of stockholm whilst i was upgrading all that we had a bit of an emergency i think almost all but four adults in beaverly hills died of thirst because all this water, new water mechanics, not a lot of water was going through here and I removed all those, well, when we removed those water pumps as well, we lost access to the water and I did not notice that. Yeah, so that was a little bit annoying, had to rearrange a few things, literally pause every single building so that we could focus on the, on the water pumps instead. Then uh, we're trying, I'm trying to close this area up, up in here just to store a bit more water but also to allow this little pool to fill up now what i've also done is i've brought down the power so that way we can start producing some paper and also books in here so if we look at their well-being uh scroll down books is starting to go up slowly temple's pretty much full so once we give them a few more hours i think they should fill up as well then we still have to build the last monument some more roofs perhaps uh, campfires I think these will go up as well as soon as we give them a bit more time to relax after work other than that I'm trying to put in a few more water pumps in here as well because water levels they're not too low but I'd like them to be higher and now when it comes to the rest of this side here I'm not entirely sure what exactly I want to do I would like to get this green as well but for that I think we're gonna have to dynamite a few blocks and then just use water dumps to keep them filled maybe even create another bark up here with uh, forest and trees yeah i think other than that let's have a look look at their well-being well actually let's bring this up campfires roof terraces they will definitely go up because we've got a few terraces there then we'll have to build a few monuments carousel is being constructed i just have to send some metal in here and then we need to figure out books in both beaverly hills and stockholm as well yeah, so that's how far we are. We're going to carry on constructing these things. And once we are progressed a little further, 
then I'll be back. And another lot of time has passed and it's time for, uh, for another quick update. And we've placed down quite a few dynamites. So let's start by detonating this section here. Okay, now we should be seeing water finally making its way into this little pond here as well. And what I'd like to do actually, just to keep that water in here, is let's put a dam just over there. Because what's about to happen is we'll probably lose that water from the pool. But uh, now, next step, let's uh, try and detonate everything in this section as well. All right, and the final one. Cool, hopefully... Oh, no. <laughs> there was a dynamite in that one. That's a shame. I thought both of those dynamites were not done. Oh, no, poor Beaver. What was his name? Dezingo. Okay, everyone's gonna go to the temple later and pray for your soul. You silly little Beaver. Why would you walk into an area that has dynamites going off? Anyways, um, we still have a couple of sections that we just could not reach. Uh, so we'll we'll definitely put a few ladders down and... Uh, do you know what? Actually... Actually, let's cancel that. Let's make it... Um, uh, where is it? Here. We'll leave a little bits in here so it's a bit more natural, I guess, in a way as well. And just some smaller islands that are that are in there. Now, we would like to have that water flow into this section. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for the water level to raise again, but um, yeah, so what have we done? We've put in a couple of warehouses here just to store any any extra resources that we, we might get, and we're starting to forest this whole whole peninsula here or the corner of the, of the island, and we're going to do the same on this corner as well. Then uh, we've Put in a quite a few, uh, not dynamites, monuments. And there's one more that's uh, being constructed there. It just takes a whole bunch of blanks that we just don't uh, don't have, or it takes a little bit of time to deliver it to our our island here. And there's another one here. We'll speed up the time just a little bit. It gets uh, really laggy at this uh, this stage. I think the pathfinding is just pretty ridiculous in this colony. Not very efficient indeed. And then we've also replaced all the smaller windmills with larger ones just to make sure we get some power because these water wheels are pretty much useless at this stage. Right, let's uh, have a look what else have we done. I think everything's pretty much the same in here. And in the Beaverly Hills, we're also starting to make some more metal now just so we can construct those last monuments because metal, well, we have enough for one, but we are trying to build three. Then printing press as well we can actually build two more now not this one that's the one we're looking for oh that's a little bit longer okay well fair enough we'll try and get started with two and then uh let's have a look in Amsterdam as well everything is pretty much the same I haven't done too much in here for the time being they i think we just added one more printing press and now the well-being is up to up to 16, the only ones we need more is the carousel, books a little bit, but we have a few in store, roofs are good as well, so I guess it's just giving them some extra time to to relax. Now with the, uh, with the Stockholm currently, what I'm thinking to do is, because distance is a little bit of an issue, so we will leave this district center here, but we will most likely disconnect it and build another district center somewhere. I guess in the forest here would be nice. So then we would still have reach for all those resources there, hopefully. And yeah, we'll be able to move and get grab some more metal from here if we need to. But yeah, just a couple more things to construct. And then we'll see if we can get it up to 17 in all three districts. And um, I'll be back as soon as we're ready to achieve that. And here it is. We finally have our, well... The final missing link in uh, trying to get to the max level. Uh, let's just bring the hours down as well. To max level well-being. Now, I kid you not, 
it has probably taken us, or me, about five or six hours just to get this episode ready. The reason for that is we had to build so many things that require metal, and at least in the Iron Death series we had to build one of everything, pretty much. Whereas in this one, because we have three different districts, we had to build three of everything, at least. So yeah, it was kind of like watching Bane try, but hey, at least we have finally completed it. And now we just gotta wait until beavers, you know what, let's give them even more rest. Just take, take the whole day off. You know, I've never done zero hours. Here we go. Uh, actually, we probably need to have some farming and... Yeah, collect some water as well, so we'll uh, leave a few hours. Okay, so let's start with... Um, Amsterdam. Here's the final look. We've got the final monument in place as well. And currently their well-being is 15, but I'm assuming that after after the day that should be much much higher. So what they were missing is campfire, rooftop terraces, and a few books and a carousel. Now they should have time. And provided we have the electricity, ooh, their requirements are pretty high, but we're close to being able to provide everything that they need. I could always actually stop producing a few resources. But yeah, okay, uh, we are up to 16 now, we just need one more. We should be getting it very soon. Beaverly Hills over here, how are we doing? 16 of well-being, what are we missing? Okay, so some time for the carousel will be... Oh, actually, never mind, this isn't showing it for the... Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go, Beaverly Hills, we are at 15. Okay, so carousel, yep. Yeah. And now that they have more time to go and play around here, hopefully we'll we'll get that 17 as well. Then uh, let me just close this menu. Uh, what we did over here, everything's pretty much the same actually. There was a lot of minor touch-ups uh, here and there, like a new water collection point. We added some potatoes, some more grills, and so on, so on. We also put some dams in place in different sections as well. I think I mentioned that before, but we do have one there, one here, and one here, just to keep that water around us and keep things green. Okay, and now for the final reveal, just behind me here. I'll turn it around any any second now. Uh, I wanted to start with um, this district. Yes, we created a new one. It's called Battletail Lake. And this one's for you, Polly. I think I promised this about three, four weeks ago. Yeah, I think it might have been a month ago. Uh, that we'll get uh, get a Battletail Lake and, and here it is. Well, if you look at that, we also have well-being of 17, which officially marks the end of this series. So let's take a look what we what we have over here. And maybe we do a top-down instead. We um, actually, yeah, let's start from here. I changed this uh, around a little bit. So now we have actually levees, uh, sorry, the dams in here. And we're just controlling the water by, by one of those when we need to top it up. But we can always just... Uh, let it run its natural course so we could turn off the floodgates or turn them down to the lowest setting and the um what are they called the dams will control it automatically now having a look at this our new battle tail district so maybe we do a section at a time but essentially big picture wise we've got a lake a river that runs through this district it goes all the way here and at the end when it's not a trout do we have a drought right now? Oh, we might too. There is a waterfall here that also fills up this lake very nicely and sl uh, slowly. Then the river actually splits into two and the other part runs into towards these ruins over here. Where there are another two dams and there's typically another, another waterfall here. Now, okay, let's do one section at a time. So this little island or peninsula looking thing now. Uh, is essentially where we have our temple. In front of the temple we have a lovely little little garden and these are all berry bushes here. Then moving downwards we've got a nice terrace filled with uh, wheat and then uh, another level of different, a mixture of trees and bushes here as well. And then same, same on this, just wanted to make it look a bit more green so just a whole bunch of different different vegetation couple of warehouses for some extra extra storage and then um, what we are doing in this location here is we're slowly building a dam but I've got a few uh, 
pieces of scrap metal stuck in here so I have not closed it properly up but we'll, uh, definitely that's going to be closed as well. Then um, on this side a couple of campfires for our lovely little beavers. On the lower levels, so this is the lowest, that's uh, actually lower than the water level. We have a few farms, we're growing a few carrots here, a few potatoes, just to keep our beavers well fed. And this pond over here, there are a few, few chairs around the area where beavers can come and uh, just relax out a little bit. And this dam is actually helping us control the, the water level in here as well. Now, looking over here, we have, well, in the front we've got the warehouses. On top of them we got rooftop terraces. Behind some, uh, what were they called? They were called the triple lodges with some... Uh, rooftops as well. Then uh, right behind here actually, uh, so this is our walk of fame where we have water underneath and this uh, little water dump is helping us keep this nice and fertile so we can have all this vegetation around and then we have these statues for, for all those fallen heroes throughout this series that have accidentally walked into dynamites or perhaps they've had some other accidents and didn't make it so this is our walk of fame and as requested uh, the main path goes up from here curves around goes through this little walk of fame slash forest and then we have a carousel kind of almost surrounded by water then um yeah and the final statue just overlooking this colony covers pretty much most of it oh just realized it is night time so maybe we'll speed up the time a little bit give you another very short look as soon as it's daytime okay finally daytime again my apologies if some of it was in the in the dark i didn't even notice but yeah here's what uh, everything pretty much looks like and um to be fair uh the most of it went into waiting for materials and the other half half of the time went into uh well figuring out how i wanted this design it took a very long time it may not seem much but it was it was a struggle and uh yeah that's pretty much everything we have so what i'll do is um i'll uh, record a couple of uh, cinematic shots as well if i can and i'll play it now but um just wanted to thank everyone for sticking around for so long it was definitely a, a series that really kick-started this channel or brought it back to life and it was a it was an awesome time playing with you hearing all your ideas meeting new people and I really enjoyed uh, having all of you following us along this journey as well. Now for the future plans, Timberborn is not gonna go anywhere. I am definitely planning to make a return. And right now, I guess my initial thoughts are what kind of mods to use. I would love to try out some and make a slightly different series. But I was also thinking, I did notice one of the mods that allows you to use buildings from both factions together. And this could be kind of cool, so we could have a bit of a story where the Folkdale beavers and the Iron Thief beavers have left their colonies in search for better lands. And they somehow meet on a, on a map and, and that's how we get access to both buildings from uh, different factions. So could be uh, some way to bring Folktales and the Iron Thief series together into one modded experience. So um, yeah, if you have any, any suggestions, let me let me know. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be looking for some interesting maps, some interesting mods, and then hopefully soon enough we'll start a new series. But as usual, thank you very much for joining throughout this series. I hope you had fun, because I definitely had. And see you in the next one.